In this video, we'll be explaining all the radioactive eight-legged creatures that gave Spider-Man his powers. So here are 10 different radioactive spiders as seen in the Spider-Man movies and television series. Up first, we have the Raimiverse Spider, also known as the Columbia University Super Spider, as seen in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1 in 2002. This was one of 15 genetically designed spiders on display during Peter Parker's school field trip that bit his hand. Its genome is comprised of three different spiders' genetic information with amazing abilities, including super jumping abilities, high tensile organic web, and high-speed nerve conduction, or spider sense. He also received increased muscle mass and the proportionate strength of a spider. He awoke with perfect vision, no longer needing his glasses, and got organic web-producing spinnerets on his wrists. Lastly, his hands and fingers could cling to walls, allowing him to scale tall buildings. Sam Raimi's story is similar to the classic Spider-Man from the comics, in which a spider was accidentally irradiated from above during a public science exhibition before biting Peter Parker on the hand. Up next is the Webverse Spider, also known as the Oscorp Industries Genetic modified spider. As seen in Mark Webb's The Amazing Spider-Man in 2012, this species of spider's scientific name was Arrhenius oscorpius, as it was developed by Dr. Richard Parker, Peter's dad, and Dr. Kirk Connors, the lizard, while they worked on cross-species genetics at Oscorp Industries. These spiders are the result of Peter's father merging his own DNA into the spiders, so the transfer of powers would only be possible toward his own children. Fate would have it that years later, Peter would snoop into Oscorp and accidentally come into contact with the spiders, allowing one of them to bite him. Oscorp had been using the spiders for a different purpose, though. The production of industrial bio cables from the spider's webs. The spider bite gave him abilities similar to Tobey Maguire's version, but without any self-produced organic webs, so he had to create his own web shooters using the bio cable webs from the same Oscorp spider species that bit him. This version of the spider is most similar to the Ultimate Spider-Man from the comics, where the spider was an Oscorp product as well. Next up is the mysterious radioactive spider from the MCU. While we haven't seen the origins of Tom Holland's Spider-Man abilities, we do know that they came from a spider bite. We also know that it didn't come from Oscorp as the company doesn't exist in the MCU, but it could have potentially come from another multi-billion dollar tech company, Stark Industries. In Captain America Civil War, Tony Stark is already aware of Peter Parker and his special abilities before calling on him to help in the battle against Captain America. So he could have known about a certain radioactive spider project that went wrong and caused a high schooler from Queens to gain special abilities. The upcoming series Spider-Man Freshman Year could give us some additional answers as to the origins of Peter's abilities in the MCU. His powers from the spider bite are similar to the previously shown Spider-Man, but he also has no organic webs, so he produced his own shooters and web fluid. Next up we have the 70s Spider-Man. In this version we see a radioactive spider from Peter Parker's lab. Back in 1977, CBS aired The Amazing Spider-Man, a made-for-TV movie that served as the pilot for a short-lived TV series starring Nicholas Hammond as the iconic web-slinger. In this case, Peter himself created the spider, and it was irradiated accidentally during Peter's lab experiments in college, which caused it to glow, just like in the original comics. He then made his own web shooters and fluid to complement his new spider powers, which were similar to the other Spider-Men, including his signature spider sense. Up next is the Japanese Spider-Man, who was bitten by Gaia, the alien spider. In Japan, Spider-Man received a unique adaptation that put a fresh spin on the character and won over many fans. But this spider is actually a humanoid alien named Gaia. The bite came from a spider bracelet that contains a needle, which injected a spider extract into Takuya's blood, giving him spider powers and healing him from the mortal wounds he was suffering from. Having completed his task, Gaia transformed into a spider that continued to guide Spider-Man as his mentor. Although he shared many of the same abilities as the other Spider-Man, Takuya's version of the Spider-Sense is his telepathic connection with his Spider-Mentor, acting like an inner voice that guides him. Next up we have the spider that bit Miles Morales, otherwise known as the Alchemex Radioactive Spider. As seen in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2018, this was a spider labeled number 42 from the company Alchemex. This spider bit him in the sewer as he was making some graffiti art, and it's based on Oscorp's number 42 spider from the Ultimate Comics. This spider breed had camouflage and bioelectric abilities, so Miles received additional powers including invisible visibility, and an electric venom blast. For number 7, 8, 9, and 10, we'll show the other four spider bite events from the animated Spider-Verse movie. Spider-Gwen is based on Earth-65 in the comics, where Gwen Stacy was bit by the spider instead of Peter Parker. At a young age, Gwen was bitten by a radioactive spider and, using her newfound spider-like abilities to fight crime, became known as Spider-Woman. Gwen later joined a band as its drummer and formed a fast friendship with Peter Parker before losing him. The spider bite also gave her the same powers as all the other Spider-Men. Up next is Spider-Noir, based on Earth-9021 in the comics, which was characterized with more mystical 
mystical elements. In this version, Peter broke an antique spider idol that released a horde of spiders and one of them bit him. Then a spider god visited him in his dream, granting him powers. This version of Spider-Man is a dark and monochromatic version of Peter Parker, and he decided to use his abilities to end the violence and the injustice of his city by becoming the vigilante known as Spider-Man. He would also find time to work as a private eye on the side. Next up is Penny Parker, based on Earth 14512 in the comics, in which a radioactive spider bit Penny Parker, creating a telepathic link between Penny and the spider robot suit's computer, allowing her to pilot it. Penny is extremely intelligent like most of the other versions of Peter Parker, but she sets herself apart by having great abilities in terms of technical skill. Next we have Spider-Ham, based on Earth 8311 in the comics, where Peter was originally a spider and was actually bit by a radioactive pig. This transformed him into an anthropomorphic pig with spider powers. Peter spent his days as a photographer for the Daily Beagle and as the crime-fighting Spider-Ham. Aside from the classic powers he shares with most of the other spider people, due to the nature of his Toon universe, Spider-Ham is nearly invulnerable and extremely agile. He's capable of feats that normal people can't achieve, such as carrying an infinite amount of items such as hammers, magnets, and anvils in his pockets. Last we have the honorable mention of Spider-Man 2099, otherwise known as Miguel O'Hara. In this version, Miguel's genes were spliced with a spider's DNA, giving him spider abilities, including fangs and talons. Miguel O'Hara is a spider person from Earth 928, a universe set in the future, and he lives in Nueva York, featured in the film Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Subscribe for more Marvel content, and if you liked the video, check out the one on your screen too.